Right now, let's talk about Kid Sport 2 Olympians. Joining us right now, Darcy and Rich. Love the shirts. Thanks. Love Team Kid Sport. Team Kid Sport. Love the cause, too. We were just mentioning Giving Tuesday, a chance for Canadians to give back, find out about charitable organizations in the community. But, Darcy, why don't you start us off and tell us about what Kid Sport does for, for the youth in the community? Uh, Kid Sport is a great organization that uh, helps to raise money to allow kids that, that don't have the means to participate in sport. So it pays registration fees and, and uh, gets kids and families involved in sport in the community. And this is something for you, Rich, that uh, on a personal level, you got great benefit from the organization. Yeah, I mean, we moved out here to BC when I was a kid, and then money went away. Dad lost his job, and I had just given up my two other sports, soccer and baseball. I started swimming and then said, okay, swimming's for me. I'm going to quit those two, start this, and then there's no money. And so all of a sudden, I couldn't do my sport, and I was, you know, a teenager that could have gone at e any direction and um, Kidsport came and helped me stay in the pool. What do you see as the, uh, and both of you can comment on this, the, the need in the community and the progress that's been made over the last five, ten years for funding for programs like this so you, so you can uh, you know, perform on the na international stage? Yeah, well, I mean, this is sort of the grassroots level uh, program, so kids that aren't necessarily athletes yet, it just helps them get involved in sport. So uh, Kids Sport has been around for 20 years. 20, uh, 2013 marks the 20 year that it's been inception, and um, I, I don't have a number on how much has been raised, but it's a lot, and it gets uh, kids in, the, in Vancouver, uh, in Surrey, in Richmond, like there's all different chapters um, to get kids involved in those specific communities. Olympic row, Olympic swimmer, there's got to be a great message. I mean, you two are role models to many. Well, I, I don't know if we're role models, but we try and be, you know, a supportive member of the community. And um, it's a need-based charity, which is the best part. So it's not any anybody can apply and, you know, just get some money. Uh, it's, it's people that really need it, that can't afford to put their kids into sport. And we know all the statistics that sport helps everywhere. It helps win family dynamics. It helps keep kids out of trouble. It helps keep kids away from drugs. And so those things all come into play and, and that helps build a better community and it helps build more kids into it. And there's more kids applying every year. And so the need is, is really there to help our community and, and this is a great event to be able to do that. Cohesiveness is the key for bringing the kids together, keeping them out of trouble, but you can also meet people and possibly find love. Yeah. Find love. That's what happened with this story. Who made the first <laughs> move here? Uh, well, we met on a bus on the way to diving. Yeah. And so we're in Beijing and we meet at the Olympics and, you know, you're wearing Canada gear, I'm wearing Canada gear, let's talk a little bit. And then, you know, we see each other then and we go to the bar later that night and see each other a little bit more. And then uh, f uh, five years later, we're married. Yeah. Very romantic. <laughs> yeah. <in> the story. <laughs> All this parlays. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, uh, it's been a great journey. And um, for me, it was just pretty neat to have met in Beijing and then four years later uh, compete together at our at the next Olympics in London last last year and um, that was pretty special uh, not everyone gets to go to the Olympics with their with their fiancés or uh, yeah, their yeah, husband to be yeah. so um, that was quite special and if you watch watching home you notice that as soon as they start talking about love there's hand holding <laughs> it's beautiful uh, the gift of sport oh, there's a close-up on it nice ring all right with the Olympic ring right there uh, let's talk about this the gift of uh, sport event you two will be there tell us about the details yeah, it's called a gift of sport, and and it really is. It's it's we're getting into the holiday season. Why not give uh, give give kids a chance um, as a gift uh, to to be able to partic participate in sport? And the best part about it is, I think if you're a sports guy and you want um, to go to any of the major games, there's uh, box seats or club seats or end zone seats for those sports. Um, auction, all live auction items or or silent auction items. It's a great time to buy some Christmas presents for yourself. There's other gifts that aren't for you but are for the kids. So you end up uh, bidding on an auction item and it goes to the kids that are going to be getting the grant as well. So they're outfitted for, for whatever sport they're doing. Great and, one all around right yeah, there. Absolutely. We've got a couple of websites we want to throw up on screen so they can follow uh, each of you. I know you're both on uh, Twitter too. And uh, of course, uh, Supporting Kids Sport, Giving Tuesday, an important event to give back on. Congratulations to you too. Keep the love alive. <laughs> December 16th, did we say that? Yes, you did. All right. We'll say it again. Make sure people know it. <laughs> Gift of sport. Come on out, Bandus and Gardens. I love the shirts yeah. too. Are you guys going to sport the shirts at the event? Oh, maybe. 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 Yeah. yeah. All right. All right.